Who's that? Sadie? Aww. You love Sadie? Be nice. Anybody home? In here. Whoa, Jenny, is your sister home? No. But I'm here. Congratulations. You passed the test. The test? I put my sister up to it. Oh, Jake. <laughs> you do love me. <laughs> <laughs> Dream water. Hey, can I have a Dorito? It's for a friend. I, I don't read those. I do. I read the hell out of them. When I'm done, it looks like it's gone through a paper shredder. Put the magazines in the back. You're gonna need a safe word, and it shouldn't be more. In the just the mags in the back. Night. SOS condoms delivers a condom to you as soon as possible. Always with ultimate discretion guaranteed. Here is SOS Con. So suddenly Todd wants me to get great buns. He's a buns guy? It's nice having another guy who likes great buns in the family. Thanks, Mike. Call me Dad. Whoa, great buns. So smooth and round, you know? We've got great buns. Oh. Only at Carl's Jr. Charlie sees a lovely girl, a girl like yours or mine. He uses a whistle, a wink, and wild roots. It gets her every time. You're so hot. Hey, hottie. Looking hot. 
like me hot your hot <sighs> your bod is so hot your bod so hot so hot <sighs> you guys want to grab something hot from somewhere totally hot that sounds so hot so hot <laughs> <laughs> and that's why i don't like gyms well we're not a gym we're planet fitness we're planet fitness baby relax i'll have this all cleaned up i'll make you a nice dinner love you bye bye baby Night out on the town, $75. So? So? So, how about a blowjob? Getting the nerve to ask such a question? $12 bottle of wine. Are you crazy? My parents might see. Oh, come on. Who's going to see us at this hour? I'll return the favor. Wait, can you imagine if we got caught? Oh my God, what my dad would do to you. There's nobody around, everybody's asleep. No way, it's way too risky. Please, I love you so much. Actually using a line like that, another $12 bottle of wine. I just can't. Please? Dad says to go ahead and give him a blowjob. Or I can do it. Or if need be, he'll come down himself and do it. But for God's sake, tell him to take his hand off the intercom. Having a girlfriend whose father has a sense of humor? Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Oh, that role play. Not too heavy, not... Do you have one? <laughs> That's not what you think it is. How? <laughs> then what is it? Oh! Did somebody open oh. a Bud Light? Always worth it. Premium light. Some drink it because they're responsible. What? Others just. Awesome. And you orange candy. Oh, God. Butter. What? Hey, cupcake. That's my little peanut butter baby. Peanut butter? Did you, 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 did you,
The cougar, too old to be your girlfriend, too young to be your mother. Easily identifiable by its strong markings and orange skin, the cougar is mostly seen in the wild, patrolling its territory with an unsteady gait. Often aggressive to younger cubs, the cougar is known predominantly for its curious diet, starving itself on sparse vegetation during the day, then hunting large slabs of meat at night. Here we see a herd of young males nervously gathering at a watering hole. The cougar waits on the edges for one of the males to foolishly separate itself from the protection of the herd. Once isolated, the young male is vulnerable and often paralyzed by the cougar's sudden approach, which causes the rest of the herd to scatter in panic. The young male now has little chance of escaping the cougar's powerful claws and valiantly pretends to be gay to water off. But this cougar has not tasted meat for days and is in no mood to be so easily discouraged. And eventually the young male is dragged off to the cougar's inner city apartment where it will be cruelly made to listen to Enya or possibly the Arrhythmics. Cougar numbers have grown considerably over the last 10 years due to culling of the cougar's natural enemy, the long-term relationship. Many areas are now overrun with cougars, which has had such a devastating effect on the young male herds that authorities have taken to introducing a genetically modified young male called the pea addict to control cougar numbers. The pea addict is a parasite that latches onto the cougar's bank account and slowly drains it so the cougar has no ability to buy the shoes and gold jewelry it relies upon to catch its prey. The cougar is then forced to work longer hours in marketing or human resource consulting and is unable to spend nights harassing the young male herds. Thanks to the pea parasites, the numbers of young males are slowly returning to their 1990 levels. But some experts worry they may be too effective and are suggesting there may be a future need to build more cougar sanctuaries like this one to make sure the species doesn't die out altogether. Notamos que las condiciones están fluctuando entre los 80 hasta los 90 grados. Es, eh, parece que tenemos un problema, me imagino con las luces, pero no se preocupen. Seguimos con el tiempo. Las temperaturas para hoy van a ser aproximadamente de, de 100. De 100. Tuesday, 59 degrees. Wednesday, 50. <laughs> There we go, that looks good. That looks good. 63 on your Saturday. And uh, temperature-wise, there, there we go for the Orange County coastal areas. Look at that. They're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's chilly. That's right. 59 degrees uh, today. Wednesday, chance of some rain showers. Suddenly, Sam's like, why did I get into the entertainment business? Ашей кого-то тянет к большим водным артериям, а кто-то довольствует. Are you watching another stock in video? Right there in the middle of your screen, um, and you can see there are that one dog is is uh, chained up right now. São Paulo, Acapulco, Indian Wells, Barcelona, Madrid, Rome, Roland Garros, l'Open du Canada, Cincinnati et l'US Open. Donc euh, deux grands chelems et un retour à la place de numéro 1 mondial avec un nombre de points euh, complètement hallucinant. Il est au-delà des, des 14 000 points. Pour une autre fois. Oui.
Elaine Campbell, who became a symbol for organ donation, is celebrating her 21st birthday in hospital. Well, Christine, they are. The whole neighborhood knows the boy. They say he's friends with their children, goes to school with them, and was in the backyard of this house playing with a scooter and a bicycle uh, when that pole came crushing down, crashing on him in front of horrified witnesses. Now, these storms will lift off the north and east as we move into tomorrow afternoon. So while the day could start cloudy and a little showery, we actually you should see plenty of sunshine as we move into the afternoon. And that's going to a Oh, son of a bitch. Why is this happening? 88 degrees. We go down to 76 for Friday. Come on, you remember that shit TV show? I love the 70s. Michael, some of these businesses here along Ocean Boulevard, which you can see behind me, tell me they are some of the hardest hit spots. I'm the Ray from the Bobby Bowen Show trying to beat the world record for fist pumping. Oh. This is it. They're live streaming. Oh. You know, they're okay. okay. Yeah, we didn't need to see that. Thanks, Ray. I guess the game just ended. It ended in a tie. This is what my producer is telling me right now. Oop, there you go. There's the score 89. Uh, went down to the wire. 21 seconds left. Ended in a tie. I'm so pale. You're on it. Today, snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. One of three inches of snow fell in Seattle and other areas. Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, you know what cheer? Yeah, we'll yeah. do okay. my britches. Okay, let's do it. One, two, a one, two, three. I got cheer in my britches, yes, I did. Yeehaw! I got cheer in my britches, yes, I did. Really, really, you I got cheer in my britches, yes, I did. Yeehaw! I was wondering what was in your britches. All this time, it was spirit. Okay, that's what I'll tell my wife next time when she complains. All right, thank you. Uh, after the Mexican. Yeah. Sorry, I have a bad cold. Yeah. It's not catching, though. We're, uh, we're recording right now. Oh, you're recording. Oh, that's too bad. I didn't realize. I didn't even know, realize. The camera. Yeah. Sorry about that. You come to Chicago, you get a cold. 